Good morning. Well, yesterday was a complete flop when it came to vlogging. I kind of learnt a lesson. Um, basically, I kind of thought, well, I've got a day off and everyone always sees that, so maybe they don't want to see it again. So I'll film the evening. I'll do something in the evening and film that. And then, literally, just as I would count my evening to start, about half five, six o'clock, the guy who I work with just messaged me and said, I quit. And then there was a massive, a lot of drama and I don't really know what's going on with that just yet. And there were reasons, like there were reasons that I don't want to put on the internet, but obviously it put me in the shit. And so yesterday all I did was freak out, get upset, stress out, put on my page that I'm looking for a job, get 50 messages, looking for a job, looking for staff, get about 50 messages of people. I was half already drunk. I like drank like half a bottle of wine in five minutes. And then I bypassed drunk and just got ill because I was stressing out so much and I just felt sick. And then I tried to have a bath and I watched the sixth Harry Potter film, The Half-Blood Prince, to try and like relax and not stress out. And I did feel better. But then I didn't vlog anything, I just completely forgot because I was so consumed by this mind bomb that was this news. And so I just completely forgot to film anything. So that's a lesson for me. I should always film stuff and I don't always have to use it, just in case. So there you go. So I was really sorry for yesterday if yesterday was super duper poor compared to the last two days beforehand which were like awesome vlogs. So, but you need a break. You can't always have awesome days. So yeah. So that's kind of where my life is at right now. I temporarily am back to running the shop all by myself, which is what I did for years, but working seven days a week now is incredibly hard when I have a day off to do all my videos and editing and I don't know how I used to do it, but working seven days is too much. You need at least one day off. And... Uh, sometimes I feel like I let my shop get too big for me. Because it's not very big and it doesn't do very well. But I struggle and I'm just, oh, I'm just not ready for today. I am not emotionally prepared for what today might bring me. Because honestly, I'm also not mentally prepared for the amount of people who might come in the shop and try and talk about being inquiring about a job, which is great. You know, that's, that's good on them. It's just, I'm tired of going through this process of trying to find someone I get on with and I can trust and who works for the shit pay that I give them. I just need to win the lottery. That's what I need to do. That's what I'll do today. I'll win the lottery. Okay, gonna go have a coffee, win the lottery, and never have to worry again. So let's go! So today I haven't really done any, any kind of filming. Um, more because I've mentally just not been in it today. I've been going through all the messages, so many messages of people inquiring about working with Level Up. Uh, so I've been messaging them, and then I found out oh. it's... Elaine's birthday, so we're I'm meeting up with them to go for a drink. However, they're not going to be ready till six o'clock. It's half five. I've already had to like really push it, like without getting kicked out the building. And then, so it's time to go. My nose is so red because it is freezing in the shop today. And yeah, time to go and meet them and go to Berry and Rye. And oh my god, my nose is so red. Okay, goodbye. So I'm on the steps of the bombed out church and my dad's taking forever. I'm freezing. Dad, can you just film me having the freeze? That's okay. What do I do? It's already filming, so just point it at me. Just make sure it's in focus. Is it in focus? Yeah, it's in focus. Got your big fat head in there, yeah. My dad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, you've ruined it now, haven't you? <laughs> My dad's gone to enjoy his birthday meal with Elaine and we went to the Berry and Rye, the secret prohibition bar that I told you about. And now I'm with Michael and we're at the shipping forecast. Hi. <laughs> this is one of my favourite places and it's the shipping forecast. Nothing beats a good beer garden and sitting outside with friends and chatting away and listening to the music that isn't too loud because you're not inside. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? So what ended up being just a one or two drinks after work ended up being a night out. I got no work done, I'm home now, I'm cooking pizza, I can't wait for pizza. I need pizza. But yeah, didn't get any work done. And I'm back in work tomorrow and... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching today. I can't even remember how much or how little I filmed today. But whatever I filmed, I hope you enjoy it. I, my makeup's all wrong, ew. And, but I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for continuing watching. Watching? <laughs> thank you for continuing to watch my videos. I need to go to bed. I need to eat pizza and go to bed. So, 